American or Mexican? The Curious Case of the Forgotten Town, Rio Rico. The more you think about the intriguing case of Rio Rico, the more confusing it gets. Back in 1848, an agreement was made between the U.S. and Mexico to treat the Rio Grande, Big River, as the border. Anything north of the river was in the U.S. And anything south of it was in Mexico. Later, in 1906, the American Rio Grande Land and Irrigation Company wanted to shorten the course of the river. To do this, it illegally cut out one of the river's protruding curves. This meant that land that was once north of the river was now south of it. Before long, the town of Rio Rico was founded. And everyone thought it was Mexican. It even became a popular drinking spot for Americans when alcohol was illegal in the U.S. Then, in 1967, a geography professor found that Rio Rico was first built on American land. After this discovery, many Rio Ricans, born after 1906, rushed to claim their new American identity. Rio Rico was later officially given to Mexico in 1977. Welcome back to English for You. I'm Adam, and I'm Elsie. Yesterday we read a story about how Mr. Gondu Delavino became a U.S. citizen. I know it's so interesting how one day he's living in Mexico as a Mexican, and then all of a sudden he's in America、yeah. as an American without even moving his house. Right, that's so interesting. Cool. Well, our article continues by saying, "The more you think about the intriguing case of Rio Rico, the more confusing it gets." Wow, 马上今天第一句就有 language focus 在里面 Let's take a look. Today's language in focus 要讲到的是 the 加上比较级加上主词还有动词，再接出 the 加上比较级加上主词还有动词，这是什么样的一个句型呢？这个句型的意义是啊，越点点点就越点点点哦。第一个 the 所引导的是副词子句，第二个 the 所。引导的才是主要子句，所以呢，马上给你一个例句，你会更清楚。For example, the earlier you get up, the more house chores you can finish today. 代表呢，你越早起啊，你今天能够完成的家事就越多。那第二个我们要注意到的是啊，如果比较级形容词用来修饰名词，而不是当做补语使用的时候，修饰的名词应该紧紧的跟在比较级形容词的后方，就像是这个。这个句子 ，the more friends you have, the less time you have for yourself. 那这个 the more 后面紧跟着的就是它所修饰的名词 friends 朋友 ，the less 后面紧跟着就是它所修饰的名词 time。好，所以这句代表的是呢，你朋友越多的话，你拥有自己的时间就会越少。Well, this intriguing case takes us back. In 1848. 嗯，没错。不过 intriguing 这个形容词呢，是引人入胜的，或是非常有趣的。所以 it is an intriguing story, right? 这是一个引人入胜、非常有趣的故事。或者是啊，你如果看到一个，比如说电影好了，里面有一个非常引人入胜、非常有趣的角色，你也可以用 intriguing 来形容哦，就会是 an intriguing character. Right, and this is an intriguing story, like we've mentioned, and it's almost like a mystery. So, it starts off by saying, "Back in 1848, an agreement was made between the U.S. and Mexico to treat the Rio Grande, which is a big river, as the border." Okay, so there's a river that runs through Mexico and U.S. It's a big river called the Rio Grande, and it serves as a border. And a border is a line between two places, which could be a wall or a fence, or in this case, a big river. So an example sentence we could say is: The soldiers walked along the northern border to protect the country. 
border 这个名词指的就是国境或是边境。So a wall can be a border. Exactly. Yes. A fence can be a border. A fence can be a border. And here they're using a river. As a border, as a river, as a border. Cool. 那在一八四八年呢，美国跟墨西哥的边界是这一条河，它所隔出来的。好，那这条河呢，中文我们翻的是里奥格兰德河。Right, and I mean sometimes on maps when you look at a map, there's not walls or you know. Or、uh, fences that serve as a border.、Mm-hmm. It's just an invisible border that you can't see. But our article takes us even further by saying anything north of the river was in the U.S. and anything south of it was in Mexico. That's pretty clear. So why was there confusion on what was in the U.S. or in Mexico? <laughs> That's right. Everything north, U.S., south, and Mexico. It seems、yeah. pretty easy, right? Well. Later in 1906, the American Rio Grande Land and Irrigation Company wanted to shorten the course of the river. Oh,、okay. so they wanted to make it smaller and shorter. shorter, not as long. And that's where the word "shorter" comes from. Where "shorten" means what it sounds like is to make something shorter or smaller. An example sentence we could say is: "The teacher needed to shorten the meeting to save time." Shorten, 好，你会发现这个字呢，就是 short 加上 e n 变成的一个动词，代表的是缩短。好，那相反，如果要延伸、延长的话，可以用到 extend 这个动词，就是 e x t e n d extend. But I don't know if that's okay for them to do that. I mean, they're a company. Can they just say, "Hey, we're going to make this river smaller, or we're going to shorten it"? I don't think they could do that, right? <sighs> well, we'll see. The article then says to do this, it illegally cut out one of the river's protruding curves. So we were right. They couldn't really do this. It was done illegally,、mm-hmm. and it cut one of the protruding curves out. So to cut something out is to remove something by cutting or trimming it away. Oh, cut something out. This is very easy to understand. It is to remove a part of something. That part of the river's protruding curves. 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 Well, maybe the company knew about it, yeah, but nobody not, else but knew nobody about it. But nobody else knew about、mm. it. So yeah, it's not a good thing. Well, and what did that mean? This meant that land that was once north of the river was now south of it. Uh oh. So what happens next? Before long, the town of Rio Rico was founded, and everyone thought it was Mexican. Ah.、Oh. Huh? So they did it illegally. Nobody knew the wiser, and they were just sitting there thinking they were in Mexico.、Mm-hmm. And we see that phrase "before long," which means in a short time, soon, or not long from now. So an example sentence I could use would be: John started saving money, and before long, he could afford a new car. 也就是不久之后，哈，贷出就会发生的事情。Okay, so that's why he thought he was Mexican. Right. It's not like you know he. <laughs> it's not like he jumped from one border to another. They changed the border on him. Yeah. All right. Well, it jumps back by saying it even became a popular drinking spot for Americans when alcohol was illegal in the U.S. Oh, so that's smart. So during prohibition in the 1920s is when you couldn't drink in the U.S. Oh, so if there's a town that's really close to the U.S., people probably could just swim across, which was not far, or even just take a little boat across, and then they could drink alcohol at a certain spot. So a lot of Americans gather. There too, right? Exactly. To drink. <laughs> to drink, yeah, and <laughs> be at that spot. And we see the word "spot," which is a certain or specific location or area. 
So I could use for my example sentence as my favorite spot to sit in the park is right under the big willow tree. Spot 这个名词呢，就是场所或是地点。那受欢迎或是有名的地点可以用 popular 好或是 famous 来形容。A popular or a famous spot. 那这样的地点呢，如果是在一个比如说观光的地方，那它就会是一个观光的景点。A tourist spot 好，或者是你也可以说 a tourist attraction。那再来呢，停车的时候你要找一个停车位，那就是一个 parking spot。那还有啊。从事某事的地点，那就是 a spot for something。像是呢， this is a perfect spot for a picnic。这是一个适合野餐的好地方。那再来还有一个名词，就是我们刚刚讲到的，美国当时候是不能够喝 alcohol， 也就是酒，好，或是酒精的饮料，所以大家都要到那个地方去喝酒。Right, so it was a good spot to drink alcohol, but it gets even more interesting. This town of Rio Rico has gone through a lot already, but then in 1967, a geography professor found that Rio Rico was first built on American land. Oh, so finally, somebody, you know, found out that. Yeah, caught on to the mistake that oh, that company, that irrigation company. Was actually probably in the was illegally doing something,、mm. and then it moved the location. And so we see geography, the word geography, which is the study of Earth's land features and people. So this geography professor was like, "Oh wait, that's odd. Let me check that out more. I think this is actually American or an, on American soil." So an example sentence we could say for geography is. Learning about geography helps us understand how natural forces shape our world. Geography 就是地理学啦，好，在学校当中的一个科目。So were you good at geography when you were in high school? Ah,、uh, I was okay at geography. I wasn't the best, but I I was okay at it. What about you? I was bad at geography <laughs> and history. But you're good at math. I just always、oh. fell asleep in classes. Oh, okay.、Mm. Wow. Geography you can memorize easy enough. So, but as the story goes on, it says after this discovery, many Rio Ricans born after 1906 rush to claim their new American identity. Yeah, for sure. If you're like, oh wow, hey, I'm actually if I was born here after 1906. And I was born in Rio Rico. Then I have to be a U.S. citizen. So I'm gonna go and get it. I'm not Mexican anymore. I'm U.S. citizen. So that discovery was made. And there we see the word discovery, which is the act of finding or uncovering something that was unknown or hidden. So an example sentence I could say would be: The children were so happy by the discovery of a hidden treasure map. Discovery 这个名词呢，指的就是发现。那世界上有很多不同的发现，对不对？所以当然可以数它。那你就去 Y 加上 I S 就好了。那如果是科学上的发现，哇，现在有很多，那就是 scientific discovery。好，那数它的话，一个科学上的发现，那就是 a scientific discovery。那动词是什么呢？动词就是把字尾的 Y 给拿掉。你会看到 discover。好，那就是发现的动词。Right. So after the discovery of this, many Rio Ricans rush to say, "Hey, I'm American." So we see the word "rush" is to hurry to do something. So I could say, "My classmates rushed to finish his presentation before class started." Rush 这个动词啊，代表是匆忙的做，或是赶紧做、仓促做。所以呢，我们看到 rush to do something， 那就是匆忙的做某事，赶紧去做某事。所以在例句当中，我们看到说 ，My classmate rushed to finish。好，所以他们就是匆忙的想要赶快结束这件事情。那在课文当中呢，就是有很多的 real Ricans， 他们就 rushed to claim their new American identity。他们就匆忙的赶。赶紧的，想要去告诉这个政府说，他们就是美国人哈，他们有美国的身份，他们不要再当 Mexican 哈，不要再当墨西哥人了。So would you do the same if you were a real Rican? Of course, I would do the same. I think you would be、uh, stupid not to do it, right? Like you're living there, and then all of a sudden, hey, people. Guess what? You're American if you want to claim that you're American because you were born in. 
before or after 1906 in a town of Rio Rican, and now you can say you're American. Of course, I would rush to go collect my <laughs> U.S. I know, think citizenship. I would do the same too. I think, yeah, of course. Um, I don't think anyone in their right mind wouldn't do it. And uh, but now the little town of Rio Rico is, you know, it's still pretty of a small town, and doesn't seem like there's too much, um, too many people living there in today's day and age.、Mm-hmm. So the article finally states by saying, Rio Rico, wait for it, wait for it. There's a twist to the end. Ho ho. Our article then lastly says Rio Rico was later officially given to Mexico in 1977. Oh, so now it still belongs to Mexico. Right? Yeah, it's Mexico, America, Mexico. Maybe next year it'll be American. Who knows? Oh, so in 1977's time, Rio Rico still belongs to Mexico. That people who are born in that country are still Mexican. They are not American. They are not American. Right. Okay, and we got a for you check question. Here and our for you chat question is: Why do you think many Mexicans wanted to become U.S. citizens? I think, like you said, why not? Right? There are so many resources. Right. Once you have that passport, you can go back and forth across the border with a lot more ease. It's easier to do that. You can fly a lot more places, like you said. When you're an American citizen, you say it's a powerful passport. So yeah, why not? And I think they can, you know, finally realize their American dreams. That could be true as well. But I also have to say, Mexican food is my favorite food. So, <laughs> so you like Mexican food more than American food? Of course I do. Yes, one hundred percent. Oh, so what is one one kind of food that's your favorite? I would one s- kind of Mexican food. Okay, I would say. Uh, carne asada enchiladas. Oh, what is that? It's like a it's, good food. It's good food. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we hope everyone, you guys, liked the story of Rio Rico, and it's back and forth between the U.S. and Mexico is quite intriguing. I'm Adam, and this is Elsie, and we'll see you next time. See you soon. Bye bye. Vocabulary review. Border. Helen stopped her car at the border, and the officers let her into the country after they asked her some questions. Shorten. I had to shorten my kite's string so it wouldn't fly too high. Spot. There's a little spot near the top of this mountain which has a great view. Geography. My favorite part of geography is studying maps and learning about all the different countries in the world. Discovery. The science teacher was very excited by her discovery and wrote several articles about it. Rush. My sister always seems to rush to have dinner so she can get back to playing with her toys. 智慧小蝴蝶 Intriguing, protruding, curve, alcohol.